Welcome to your Oculus Home. In this short video, we're going to go over some of the main menu navigation features. When you start your headset, you'll be in your Oculus Home with a panel in front of you that's Explore. From here, you can see your username. You can set your preferences. The top here, it shows your apps, favorites, muting, you can manage widgets and Oculus Essentials, try voice commands, change virtual environment, connect with friends, play a tutorial, and browse the Oculus Store. The quick menu, which is your dashboard here, has also an expandable menu in quick settings. You can see I need to charge my headset and you can look at your battery control, power, and the date, Wi-Fi connection, your guardian settings here. You can reset to stationary to room scale. You have your volume control and your brightness settings here. There's a reset view. You can mute your microphone sometimes if you can't hear someone else speaking or they can't hear you, you might want to have them check their microphone isn't muted. And your night display, your do not disturb, pass through home, which will activate your cameras to reset or see through your headset and how you can report a problem directly to Oculus. When you hit the top right, you get even more device settings. You can reset your guardian from here. You can adjust floor levels. Again, more pass through, um, room scale boundary settings. You have your storage capacity notifications, applications, and what kind of permissions you're offering. This is another good place to look if you can't hear someone or there is some kind of communication problem when you're in your, uh, your guests are here. You can check your permission settings here that you have storing media and microphone options how to set your virtual environment. You have different options on your background. So from this place here, you can apply all different kinds of environments for your Oculus Home. And you can try these out. They're a lot of fun. You can also activate experimental features here. All these different options for new features that are coming soon on your headset. Then you can see this is a really good, the about section is a really good place to check and make sure what version you're on for Oculus operating. One version 29 right now. There's a new version that just came out, version 30. So when Oculus rolls out different updates, this is where you can find them and see if they're available to you. It's a really good place to make sure that all your settings are the most current settings available. So moving on, you can see your profile here on the dashboard. Hi everyone. You can edit your profile and we're going to go on a separate video, how to set up your avatar. And from here, you can also see your notifications videos you've taken, phone, all different kinds of options here. And the Explore, which will show you different games based on your interests and what's popular. This is a way to just search what's recommended. And then you can also just go to the store and directly look for top apps like Alcove. So when you go to search, and here you can hit an input 
alcove. Go. And there it is. So you can see that I have it installed, but if you haven't installed it, this is how you can find it in the store and you'll have the option to install from here. Next, you have your messenger settings, your sharing settings where you can record, take a photo, go live and cast with your library of media here. And then you also have here are the apps in your app library. And this is where you can also go to explore, store. You can select your browser and check out different events and see all the different apps that you have on your headset. So we look forward to seeing you in Alcove soon. Thanks.